Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the homestead in today's video i'm going to be talking about what homesteaders like myself and my husband do when we go out of town or when we go on trips so by the time you guys have seen this video mike and i will have left and come back from a weekend camping trip up in the mountains and i know that on previous videos people have asked well what the heck do you do with like your chickens and your sheep while you are gone and in today's video we're going to kind of get into that a little bit but before we get too into that, I just wanted to say hello from me to you guys. I know that I've been pretty MIA um, in a lot of like the consistent videos that Mike has been putting out. And I know that he did explain to you guys that I got a job outside of the home, which is totally true. I actually got two jobs outside of the home. And that's been really, really great for Mike and I. Me, myself, I just got super unhappy with like the way that things were going. Um, working from home, working with Mike, not leaving very much. I'm a very social person. And so I got into a pretty dark place the last year or so. And so being outside of the home has really, really helped with that. Some of you guys might know that I have a background in social work. And so I was fortunate enough to find a job in my area um, that allows me to practice that. And I've been really happy lately. And you guys are honestly not going to see the end of me. I'm still going to be in videos um, on weekends. And when Mike and I do, are doing projects, as the weather turns up here in Idaho, we are going to be moving indoors. We definitely still have lots of things to do inside of the house. You know, we spent a big portion of the summer outside and so not much got done in there. So you guys will definitely still be seeing me. But for now, let's head to the bottom. We need to check on the animals and make sure they are nice and fed and ready for us to leave for the weekend. All right, guys, I wanna take just a minute to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Element. Element makes a super tasty electrolyte drink mix that has all of the good ingredients and none of the bad. With plenty of flavors to choose from and convenient single serving packets, Element is ready for you to shake and sip, whether you just got done working out or doing sweaty chores around your homestead. Electrolytes help with thousands of functions in our body, including hormone regulation and nutrient absorption. So it's why it's so important to replace them. That's why you get like the muscle cramping and the fatigue is when you do a lot of sweating, you're losing those electrolytes. So with Element, it replaces those right away. There's no artificial sweeteners, none of that nasty food coloring. It's all of the good ingredients with none of the bad. Element contains a science-backed ratio of ingredients. And since salt and sodium is one of the main things you lose when you sweat, Element is going to provide you with 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium, which is all stuff that is natural to your body. You're just replacing it since you lost it from sweating so much. For a super limited time, Element is sending our viewers a free sample pack with the purchase of anything from the Element website. So you can try all of their flavors or maybe share with one of your salty friends. But you guys, you have to use our link. So make sure you go to drinkelement.com forward slash Lordens. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com forward slash Lordens. Thank you so much to Element for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to work. As far as what we do with the animals when we are gone, it totally depends on how long we are gone and where we are going. Since we're just going for the weekend this time, Mike and I feel super secure to just load the animals up with food. We've got sheep and we've got chickens. So we're gonna load them up with food and water and they're gonna be fine for a couple of days. Mike and I definitely operate under the belief system that the farm animals aren't our pets. And while we do make sure that they are well-fed and taken care of and safe, um, you know, we, we believe that like, they're totally fine. They're pretty self-sufficient. As long as they have food and water, they're not going to die. It's going to be for two days, you know, not too big of a deal. So let's go make sure that those guys are all buttoned up. Since we do still have meat chickens, it is just kind of an added layer of what we have to do. And these chickens are a lot less self-sufficient than like our layer hens. Since we're just getting out of summer, we don't feed the laying hens a ton besides the chicken scraps. They mostly like do the foraging all over the mountain. Um, but the meat chickens are a little bit different. You know, we want to make sure that those things are packing on the pounds. So what I'm going to do is just fill up their two feeders like all the way to the top and they're going to be good to go. You know, they are almost always hungry, so you can never really believe them. But since I'm not going to be here tomorrow morning to feed them, I'll just load up their feeder and they're going to be good to go as well as their water. Got to make sure they have water. That back there is seven gallons um, and it hasn't been super, super hot out. So that should be plenty to last them through the day.
I'm calling that good to go for the meat chickens. They've got plenty of food and water to last them through one full day. So let's move on over to the sheep and see what we have to do for them. We've got another chicken that hatched some chicks. She's got five with her. Kind of cool looking, an all black one and a gray one. Got some good moms in our flock, that's for sure. We're getting to the time of year where we don't have a lot of fresh green stuff for the sheep to eat in this pasture up here. And this is where they're staying for the rest of the year. So we have the two rams that are actually in this big pasture here and then the ewes are over on the other side. We've dealt with these guys getting out a little bit too much. And so we finally decided, you know what? You're staying in this one, we know it's secure. So what I'm gonna do for these guys is just throw them a bunch of hay. The, that feeder over there is for the ewes. So I'll fill that bad boy up and then just throw out, you know, half a bale for uh, these two guys right here. And they've still got some stuff up there to forage, not a ton. So they're definitely liking and appreciating the hay. And then I'll fill up those two buckets of water. The ewes over there, their water is completely full, so they're fine. And yeah, these guys will be good to go uh, for one full day. Like I said, depending on where we were going, if we were going to be leaving for a week or so, we would have somebody stay at the house. Typically my dad, um, Mike and I are lucky. We have like parents and grandparents and brothers and sisters all in the area, as well as some neighbors that would be willing to do it too. But since we're just gone for a day, um, they will be good to go. You know, we are going to bring the dogs with us so we don't have to worry about that. And then the cats, they're self-sufficient enough. I'll give them some food um, and just kick them outside and they'll be fine. They stick around. Isn't that right? I'm just gonna walk by you. You're fine. Hi, mama. How are you? The big ram, the big white ram and I go through periods where we definitely don't get along very well. And right now we're not getting along super well. He's just kind of a jerk. I think having the ewes so close definitely frustrates him. Um, he's a good ram. It's, uh, sometimes I like him, but lately I've been rammed by him pretty hard once or twice lately and i'm not a big fan uh the baby there still kind of calling him the baby he was born in february he's nice uh for now but yeah the big white one is he can get a little bit cranky For us, it really is that simple. These guys are gonna be fine for a couple of days. They have food, they have water, and they have a secure pen. So they really should be good to go. See our firewood back there. We have a bit left over from last year and we have started, but that's pretty standard for Mike and I. We spend pretty much all of October making sure that we have the chimney cleaned and the firewood stacked up because winter is definitely coming and winter is long up here, but we're excited. So hopefully that cleared up a few questions about what Mike and I do when we go on trips, what we do with our farm animals. Since we're just gonna be gone for a few days, we load them up with food and water and hope for the best. They usually are pretty good. If we're gonna be gone for longer, we have somebody stay or at the very least come by and check on them and refill the food and the water. I appreciate you guys watching. It was great to see you. I look forward to seeing you in future videos. So yeah, thanks again and we'll see you next time.